Hello everyone. In this video, I'll implement 4-bit ring counter as well as Johnson counter. As you know that for a 4-bit ring counter and Johnson counter, I need 4 flip-flops. And uh, both the counters are nothing but a shift register based counter for which I need D flip-flops. The main difference between ring counter and Johnson counter is that in a case of ring counter, it's nothing but a modular 4 counter and in the case of Johnson counter, it is mod 8 counter. Wherein in the case of ring counter, you are getting 4 states and in the case of Johnson counter, you get 8 states. So let us implement a ring counter in multisim. As I've already said to place any component in multisim, you need to go for place, then component. In that, I have something called as TTL under TTL 74LS. Now, D flip flop is nothing but an IC number 7474. So, I select 74LS74, which is nothing but D flip flop, the preview of which is available over here. Now, I'll click OK. Then you can choose either A or B, and I'll place over here. Then again, the same thing, I have to repeat it 4 times because it's a 4 bit counter. So, next, I need clock pulse for giving clock for all the D flip flops. So I use sources, under sources, digital sources and digital clock. I will click on OK and I will place digital clock over here. Next, I need to have preset as well as a clear. To give a logic to preset and a clear, I need interactive digital constant which is under the same that is sources, digital sources, I have interactive digital constant. So, I will place over here for both the preset as well as for clear. Again, I'll place one more preset for the rest of the flip-flops and one more clear for the other three flip-flops. The reason why I keep two uh, preset as well as two clear is because for a ring counter I have to initialize or I have to load the value to any data maybe 1000. So let us see how to how it can uh, you know gets connected. So the clock pulse over here I'll connect it to clock and all the clock pulse are connected together synchronous clock next for the rest of the three flip flops i'll connect a preset and clear for the same one clear for the three flip flops next one more clear for the first and one more preset for only the first flip flop then the output of the one must be connected to the input of the other and in the case of ring counter as you know that the output from the last flip flop is fed as input to the first flip flop so it's fed over here now to view the output i'll connect probes to connect the probe again the same procedure place component then under group i have something called as indicators then under that we are having probe in probe i will connect it as probe red so i will connect over here so i need four probes so i will connect over here so that's done now i have to connect these to the corresponding outputs so q3 q2 q1 as well as q0 the frequency what is kept over here is very high so i'll reduce the frequency from 1 kilohertz to 10 hertz so that uh, we can see the switching of the states from one flip flop to another now initially i have to load the data as 1000 which means the first flip flop output should be high the rest of the flip flops the output should be low so if we if we can see over here we have something called as preset bar and clear bar which is nothing but active low Preset bar will make the flip-flop to high when it is set as 0 and clear bar will clear the flip-flops when it is set as 0. So this is preset bar for the first flip-flop. So I will keep it as 0 which will make the output to high and clear bar I will keep it as 1 which is disabling it to clear. 
the rest of the flip flop preset bar should be equal to 1 clear bar should be equal to 0 which will clear the output so i'll run this so the initial state of the counter is 1000 now i will not stop in the simulation i'll pause the simulation after pausing the simulation next i have to again uh, you know continue the simulation by keeping preset bar as 1 for the first and clear bar as 1 for the rest of the three flip flops i am disabling all the preset as well as clear bar now let us run again continue the simulation let us see the switching of the states and let us draw the inference from this so again i'll continue you can see 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 again 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 0 1 so now i'll stop this so what is a inference from here for a ring counter as i've already said it is a modulo 4 counter i started from 1000 to get back to the same state it takes four clock pulses so, which means that for four states i have four flip flops over here to implement a ring counter to get four states the same i have already implemented using a johnson counter this is a johnson counter um, logic diagram here you can see that the same uh, four flip flops are repeated four probes but the main difference between ring as well as johnson over here is in a johnson counter i don't need to uh, initialize the value for a johnson counter it can be it zero 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 i'll clear the flip flops initially and the second main difference in ring counter and johnson counter is that in the case of ring counter the output of the last is given as an input to the first flip flop in the johnson counter the complement of the last uh, uh, the complement of the output from the last flip flop is given as input to the first flip flop that is only the difference so let us see how will be the states in the case of johnson counter the rest of the procedures is same first i have to clear all the flip flops so i'll make clear bar as 0 and preset bar as 1 and i have kept a frequency as 10 hertz so i'll run this i have cleared this next i'll pause this i'll make clear bar as equal to 1 now let us continue the simulation and see how will be the states i have already written the states over here towards the right hand side initially it is 0 0 0 0 q3 q2 q1 and q0 now i'll run the simulation 1 0 0 0 next 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 next it is 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 and it repeats again so again here i can draw the inference in the case of johnson counter or switch tail counter is that for getting eight states i can have only four flip flops so that is an inference the main difference between ring and johnson is that for getting n states i need n flip flops in the case of ring counter whereas in the case of johnson counter to get two n states i need only n flip flops so that is a main advantage of johnson counter over ring counter i hope you have liked this video subscribe to my channel if you like thank you